In the heart of ancient Rome during the first century AD lived a man of remarkable intellect and character, Seneca the Younger. His life was a testament to the intricate interplay of philosophy and politics, for he walked the delicate tightrope between the corridors of power and the wisdom of Stoic philosophy. Born in approximately 4 BC, Seneca came from a wealthy and influential Roman family. His early years were marked by privilege and access to the finest education Rome could offer. Yet, as fate would have it, his life would be a tapestry woven with both the threads of political intrigue and the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. In his early career, Seneca became known as a gifted orator and writer. His eloquence and insights into philosophy soon caught the attention of Emperor Nero, the young and volatile ruler of Rome. Seneca was invited to serve as Nero's advisor, thus beginning a relationship that would test his commitment to Stoic principles. Seneca's tenure in Nero's court was fraught with ethical dilemmas. As he advised the emperor on matters of governance, he found himself navigating treacherous waters. The excesses of Nero's rule, marked by cruelty and corruption, challenged Seneca's Stoic principles of virtue and justice. Yet, Seneca remained committed to his philosophical convictions. He believed that even in the most corrupt of environments, one could maintain inner tranquility and ethical integrity. It was during this time that he wrote many of his letters and essays, which explored Stoic philosophy in the context of power and politics. One of Seneca's key teachings was the Stoic acceptance of the brevity of life. He urged his readers to make the most of their time, to cultivate wisdom and virtue, and to live in accordance with nature. His writings on anger, in particular, offer profound insights into the human condition and the importance of emotional control. Despite the complexities of his political career, Seneca remained dedicated to Stoic philosophy. He emphasized that one's character and inner life were paramount, even in the face of external challenges. In his letters, he often wrote about the need for self-examination and self-improvement, echoing the Stoic idea that true wealth is found in virtue. As the years passed, Seneca's relationship with Nero became increasingly strained. He retired from public life, but continued to write prolifically. His philosophical works, including Letters to Lucilius and essays on topics like Providence and the Happy Life, continue to inspire readers to this day. Seneca's life was marked by its complexity. He lived in a world where power and wealth often clashed with the principles of Stoic virtue. Yet, through his writings and his unwavering commitment to Stoicism, he left a lasting legacy. Seneca's enduring message is one of resilience, wisdom, and the pursuit of virtue, even in the most challenging of circumstances. In the end, Seneca the Younger, the statesman and Stoic sage, serves as a reminder that philosophy is not merely an intellectual pursuit, but a practical guide to living a meaningful and virtuous life, even amidst the complexities of the human condition, curiosity, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge and artistic mastery. From an early age, Leonardo displayed an insatiable curiosity about the world around him. He observed nature, dissected human cadavers to understand anatomy, and filled countless notebooks with sketches and ideas. His approach to creativity and self-improvement echoed Stoic principles of continuous learning and the pursuit of wisdom. Leonardo's famous notebooks, filled with sketches, inventions, and scientific observations, reflect his commitment to understanding the world through reason and empirical investigation. His meticulous attention to detail and his quest for knowledge resonated with Stoic notions of rationality and the importance of seeking truth. One of the key Stoic-like qualities in Leonardo's life was his drive for self-improvement. He constantly sought to refine his skills, whether in the realm of art, science, or engineering. His relentless pursuit of excellence mirrored Stoic ideals of continuous self-mastery and the cultivation of virtue. Leonardo's artistry was characterized by a deep appreciation for beauty and proportion, qualities that can be related to Stoic notions of the appreciation of virtue and inner harmony. His paintings, such as the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, 
are celebrated for their aesthetic elegance and emotional depth. While Leonardo's life and work were not explicitly Stoic, his philosophy encompassed a Stoic-like commitment to reason, self-improvement, and the pursuit of knowledge. He exemplified the Renaissance spirit of embracing all aspects of human existence, from art to science, and his legacy endures as a symbol of the limitless potential of the human mind. In the end, Leonardo da Vinci, the Renaissance polymath, reminds us of the Stoic idea that the pursuit of wisdom, virtue, and continuous self-improvement transcends disciplinary boundaries. His life's work encourages us to cultivate curiosity, embrace reason, and strive for excellence in all aspects of our own pursuits. The Stoic's Journey – Finding Serenity in Chaos Once upon a time in the ancient city of Athens, there lived a man named Marcus. He was known throughout the city for his wisdom and calm demeanor. Marcus was a devoted follower of Stoicism, a philosophy that taught the importance of virtue and inner tranquility in the face of life's challenges. One hot summer morning, Marcus was sitting in the shade of an olive tree, reading his favorite Stoic writings. His peaceful solitude was interrupted by a distressed friend, Lucius, who rushed to him with a worried expression. Marcus, Lucius exclaimed, our city is in chaos. Riots have broken out and the people are in a state of panic. I fear for the safety of our families and our way of life. Marcus calmly closed his book and looked at Lucius with compassion. My dear friend, he said, I understand your concerns, but remember what our Stoic teachings tell us. We cannot control the external world, but we can control our reactions to it. Let us approach this situation with wisdom and virtue. Lucius, though skeptical, respected Marcus's wisdom and agreed to stay and discuss the matter further. Marcus began to share a story from his own life, a tale that had shaped his Stoic philosophy. Years ago, Marcus had been a successful merchant, known for his wealth and extravagance. He lived a life of luxury, surrounded by material possessions. However, despite his riches, he felt a profound emptiness within him. He realized that his pursuit of wealth had led him away from the path of virtue. One day, while sailing on a lavish ship filled with exotic goods, a violent storm arose threatening to capsize the vessel. Marcus watched as his precious cargo was tossed into the unforgiving sea. In that moment of chaos, he clung to a wooden plank, his life hanging in the balance. As the storm raged on, Marcus had an epiphany. He understood that he had no control over the tempestuous sea, just as he had no control over the external events in his life. The only thing he could control was his reaction. He decided to let go of his attachment to wealth and material possessions and focus on cultivating virtue and inner peace. Miraculously, Marcus survived the storm, washed ashore on a remote island. There, he met a wise old sage who introduced him to Stoicism. Over the years, Marcus dedicated himself to the study of this philosophy, and he returned to Athens a changed man. As Marcus finished recounting his personal story, Lucius began to see the wisdom in his friend's words. Together, they decided to help their fellow citizens navigate the chaos in a stoic manner. They organized gatherings where they shared stoic principles with their neighbors, teaching them the importance of virtue, wisdom, and inner tranquility. Slowly, the people of Athens began to find solace in these teachings, and the riots began to subside. Over time, order was restored to the city, but more importantly, the people had learned to face adversity with stoic resilience. They understood that external events were beyond their control, but their reactions were not. They embraced the stoic virtues of courage, wisdom, justice, and self-discipline. The city of Athens, once torn by chaos, had transformed into a place where the stoic way of life was embraced by its citizens. Marcus and Lucius continued to inspire others with their wisdom, reminding them that in the midst of life's storms, one could always find serenity through the practice of stoicism. And so, the story of Marcus and Lucius became a timeless reminder that in the face of life's challenges, 
It is our inner strength and virtue that provide the greatest source of tranquility.